Hey, what's going on uh, YouTube? Figured I would go in, do a, uh, I guess a mod run through of what I've got done to my Tamarack. I won't cover like the basics of it, the specifications. I mean, chances are if you're here, you've already looked at that. You're thinking about getting the boat. Um, you know, bottom line up front, if you're thinking about getting it, absolutely. It is a, uh, it's a gem for the price tag. I go on ponds, lakes, um, easy rivers and this thing, uh, never a doubt. The only con is you cannot really stand up in it. It's not very stable when it comes to standing up. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll go through a, a quick run through of the mods that I've done. A lot of it is DIY, some store-bought stuff, um, and a lot of just quality of life updates and changes, if you will. So I'll start up here in the front. Um, I've got, you know, the, the anchor trolley here. Uh, this is the Yak Gear anchor trolley. Um, if you if you fish on a kayak, you know this is essential. Uh, it helps you position, you know, your your boat the the direction that you want to look. And you know, rather than being at the mercy of the wind or the current, um, you know, and trying to redirect yourself with your paddle or your lure as you're casting, uh, this thing is a, is a lifesaver. Well worth the twenty five bucks that I spent. Uh, the next thing. I guess we'll go with the paddle that's laying across. Uh, definitely upgrade the paddle. The one that comes with the kayak is, is just junk. Uh, this is a, an Ocean Broad. Got it on Amazon for 35 bucks. Um, does the job perfect. You know, for any rivers, lakes, any body of water I go on, it's perfect. I don't need anything too crazy. $35, a huge upgrade. Um, another little change, or I guess not change, upgrade that I made. Uh, the lack of storage on this thing is actually comical. Um, you know, when you're sitting there, if you don't have anything done to the front, really all you've got is the, you know, the open storage underneath that has no compartments and stuff to just fly around or you have your cup holder. So what I went ahead and did is I went to, uh, actually got this at Dick's it cost me nine bucks and it's just a little bin. Uh, it actually has a functional cup holder in it because that one is way too big and stuff falls around. So it's got a functional cup holder and then a little storage space that I throw my lures in and stuff. Um, you know, or any little trash. I just kind of use it as a storage bin while I'm out there. Um, speaking of storage, I'll show you what I've done with this. This is a pretty sweet change. Um, so yeah, the standard storage on this, this is just open. Uh, you know, there is, stuff can slide all around the boat down in here. There's nothing in there. So what I went ahead and did is I went to uh, um, Home Depot and got a bare, a BEHR bare one gallon plastic paint can. Uh, it's meant to pour paint out of, but what I went ahead and did is I took a razor blade to the handles and I cut off the handles um, on both sides, added Velcro to the bottom, put some Velcro down in the bottom of the boat like that, and it actually slides right on in. And it fits perfectly. And you still get your seal when you close, and that is going nowhere, and it holds a lot. This holds my my dry box, uh, and, you know, an extra pair of sunglasses, my solar charger, um, my scale, extra Velcro, I mean, literally anything uh, fits down in here. This was one of the best changes that I made to uh, made to the boat. Absolutely, it is that right there? All uh, right, next to it, I've got my phone holder, so I have a deeper fish finder. Um, and it displays on your cell phone. And so rather than trying to hold my phone um, while I'm out in the water, I went and bought this. Um, it sticks to the cup holder, got a little arm, I can redirect it, and it's right in my face. Not in my face, but uh, very conveniently located. I just look down and I can see, you know, just like any other standard fish finder. Um, yeah, that's how I, I, I guess I find my fish. Um, let's see. Another change I made, a util utility uh, pouch. I just got a little nine inch one from Home Depot. Holds my lip grips, uh, my, uh, uh, my utility tool, my clippers, my line clippers. And it's got a little a nice metal uh, clip on the front. I just use a little uh, uh, mini carabiner clip, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, you know, tether what I need to to it. Uh, I've got a yak. Uh, uh, a track on the outside that I just put on, I'm waiting on the uh, 
mount for my deeper to come in. It'll go on that track. I actually went ahead and changed the standard paddle holder on this boat is this strap and it usually screw, uh, latches on the inside here. I actually unscrewed the hook, moved it to the outside, and now I can strap my paddle to the outside of the boat. So it's actually not in the way of anything. Uh, it's very convenient and I didn't have to buy anything uh, to do it. <sighs> Absolutely crucial is a uh, pad or new seat for the, the chair. I didn't want to spend 50 bucks on a stadium seat. I got a butt pad, does me just fine. Uh, last thing is my crate. I DIY'd my crate. Um, I went out and I bought two milk crates from Home Depot. Uh, cut the top off of one, made the lid, drilled holes all over it. I've got a bungee cable, you know, that I use to open up. Got all my tackle in there, close it down. And actually one thing that I did was um, on the top, rather than just leaving it open, I actually made it another storage compartment. Took a bunch of mini bungees, um, drilled some holes down here, as you can see, like that on each side. Ran the mini bungees, uh, crossed them all over, and I used it as storage, and it's actually really secure. Um, the, the weight there, oh, this isn't the last thing I'm sorry, the weight there is my anchor. I have it latched with a little, uh, I don't know, ball, bungee, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it is so secure. I, I don't take any of this out when I'm on the water and I open my crate. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that speaker stays in there the whole time. Um, I'm pretty proud of this one. Um, my legitimate last mod upgrade is my anchor. So I have a uh, retractable clothesline just in the pouch of my back seat. The line running down the bottom and i'll pull out my i'll pull out my anchor um run it through my trolley latch it up and drop it down and as soon as i'm done the line retracts i took the excess into this pole holder because i don't use it and it is perfectly clean um yeah that's pretty much it um you know you got your standard pull holders i bought a three pack um yeah Scupper plugs, I mean, it's not a mod, get scupper plugs. I spent nine bucks on a six pack rather than eight bucks on golf balls. I mean, just take a pick, but yeah, this is my, uh, that's my Tamarack.